Namo Guru Be Namo Be Daya Namo Dharmaya Namo Sangaya Namo Guru Be
Let us cultivate uh, the highest uh, form of motivation. Uh, we call it uh, bodhicitta motivation or the altruistic motivation seeking complete enlightenment for the benefit of all other sentient beings. And that with that kind of motivation, all of us should participate uh, in this Lamrim discourse. Uh, discourse on the stages of the path leading to enlightenment by Manjushri uh, Lama Tsongkhapa. Uh, to give you the blessing of uh, lineage oral transmission of Lamrim Chemo, the great uh, discourse on the stage of the path leading to enlightenment by Manjushri Lama Tsongkhapa, allow me to read about uh, uh, you know, a couple of pages uh, uh, from it, uh, volume number two in the English translation of Lamrim Chemo, uh, page 162, uh, followed by explanation. <laughs> Mendavi Jung <laughs> Musso <laughs> Tia <laughs> Kasalang <laughs> Lane 
Dunque la cabina era anche in giro, 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 Some Dove <laughs> Do <laughs> Lalabonne Tempazzoni, Metro <laughs> Uh, read um, from page 162, volume number two in the English translation, Lambin to page 166. So that was a uh, blessing of the oral transmission of uh, this uh, Lambin discourse. Now he started to go back to where we left off uh, 
uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago uh, and pick up from there and continue with our uh, teaching and discussion. Uh, those of you who have got uh, this translation uh, uh, with you, we are at the bottom of page 162. Uh, we have been um, discussing uh, uh, in what ways anger is uh, unjustified. And uh, so we already uh, you know, talked about uh, 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 one of the reasons why anger is unjustified is that uh, uh, when someone uh, gets angry or mad with us, it is not that he or she is in complete control of himself or herself, right? So therefore, uh, really, we cannot uh, uh, really uh, be mad with a person per se because the person is uh, not uh, the master of his or her domain, as I said, right? person is uh, not in full control. <clears throat> and um, so now another reason that's being uh, given today is... Uh, uh, on the analysis, uh, uh, you know, we fu- you know, we're analyzing whether, uh, you know, what uh, brings us anger, whether that is advantages or inherency. So in that way, the anger is uh, uh, unjustified. So Kishala will uh, continue with his explanation from there. Won't lower in the troll made it to all us over Nangal now and teach you on the Nangal La Troll Miri by Shinun Yamji. Sabla, Troaga, Troaga, this. This is what I got it. Rongina and the course, Jia Mara Jia Meta and the call Meta and she is Meta and the Simjian Rongina and the Oviat. And the call Tremor to Sojoto Hayo Mara. No, so this is what that. So we are at the bottom of page 162, and uh, so the reason we are talking about is uh, either us or anybody else uh, gets angry. Uh, so the reason we have to analyze is whether anger is uh, inherency in the sense it is our true nature, so to speak, or whether it is an advantageous uh, uh, phenomenon. Okay? And if anger is uh, our very nature, so to speak, uh, then there's nothing we can do about it. You know, just like uh, heat is uh, the nature of fire, right? Because if you catch fire, fire will burn you. There's nothing you can do about it because that's in the very nature of the fire. That's called fire. You know, it'll burn you. Uh, so if the anger is just like the heat of the fire, you know, in, in our case, then really there is no solution, so to speak. This is it, you know. That's our nature. Uh, but on the other hand, if anger is not our true nature, so to speak, of our mind, but it is advantages, you know, it just comes and goes, right, uh, depending upon uh, uh, different um, uh, factors, then maybe we can do something about it. Uh, and, um, uh, for example, uh, sometimes because of, um, you know, when the sky is overcast, right, then we can't see the blue sky, you know. But we know it's an advantageous thing, you know, and pretty soon... Uh, Whatever is, uh, 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 how should I say, hiding the blue sky from us, uh, when, whether it's a smoke, that's the example given in the Buddhist text, right? If the smokes blow up and, uh, you know, uh, cover the whole sky, we can't see it for a while. But then we can't get mad with uh, the, the smoke because it is caused by some causes conditions and it will go away with some causes conditions and then we can sky, uh, see the blue sky. Okay? So like that... Uh, if anger is an advantageous uh, phenomenon, uh, uh, then there's something we can do about it, and there's no reason to get uh, uh, mad with uh, the person who's angry. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
ลีนดอเชนกอยังจะซื้อหรอวะอ๋อซื้อซื้อหรอเนี่ยกูมึงเนี่ยลีนลงซื้อหรอวะอ๋อซื้อหรอวะอ๋อซื้อหรอวะอ
fire has a burning nature, right? Uh, and uh, is that what uh, the anger is uh, with us sentient beings? Uh, and advantages means uh, you know something uh, uh, produced and caused by causes and conditions, and something you know disappears because of causes and conditions. That's what it is. It, uh, just like ex another example, Geshe has given is uh, like when we look at our life, you know, sometimes we become very rich, other times we could become very poor, right? So becoming rich or poor is an advantageous thing. You know, things go well with us, you know, we succeed in what we do, we can be millionaire, billionaire, whatever, trillionaire, all that. And then when things, you know, sucks, then we can be just, a, you know, straight person, homeless, you know? So it just goes ups and down. So that's an advantageous uh, uh, thing. Uh, and, um, now, another point uh, as we're analyzing the whole situation is, um, um, as is stated on page 163, maybe I should read that and then translate it. On analysis of whether the harm is direct or indirect, anger is unjustified. Yeah. Say somebody uh, is mad with us and then beat us with a stick or something. Yeah. Now, we're analyzing the situation. What am I angry at or you know, with, right? Uh, should I get angry with what has really caused the real pain, right, to me? Uh, if that's the case, it's really the stick or whatever the instrument or the tool the person has used to beat me up, okay? So I should really be get mad with the, the stick and whatever the tools the person has used because that has caused the pain to my body, right? But then if we say, well, the stick did not get up on his own and beat me up, right? It's the person who used the stick, okay? So person is uh, uh, responsible for that, right? So stick is controlled by the person. Person is the motivator, instigator, whatever. Well, then we analyze it more. The person is also not in charge here because the person is under the influence of anger. Now, the anger is the real, you know, uh, motivator and instigator and, you know, over that. So just like uh, we, can't, we don't get mad with the stick that causes the real pain because we think the person is the instigator and motivator here, then we can't get mad with the person because the person is goofed by the anger, you know? So, uh, uh, and, uh, so this is how uh, we I mean, try to analyze and uh, try to calm down uh, our, uh, you know, anger. <laughs> เดินตรงอะไรเบ้อเสร็จเดินมันจะปานเนี่ยลมมาริกลองดูซ้อนอีกเบ้อริกว่าน้ําปะทันจิตซุ่งบาเลยเนี่ยบ่ทางลาดย
you know, stone or rock or whatever the person has used, right, to beat me up or to hit me, then I should get mad with that, not the person, okay? But then if I say, well, the stick or the rock did not do it on its own, it's the person, you know, who used it, right? The person is responsible for my pain. Then we can say, wait a minute. Is the person also controlled by something else, right? Instigated and motivated by something else. Or is the person in full charge here? Well, we know that person is, uh, is under the influence of anger. So the one who really brought us the pain caused you know, that person to do whatever he or she did is the anger. So if we're going to get mad with something, then we should get mad with the anger, not the person, not the stick, not the rock, not whatever this other uh, instrument the person has uh, are used. So thinking in this way, right, that's kind of a parallel thinking here, just like we cannot, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, get mad with the stick because we think person is in charge of that. Now we cannot get mad with the person because the anger is in charge of the person, right? There's a parallel line thinking, right, critical thinking, reasoning. So using that, uh, then we should train our mind to understand that, well, really, person is really not in full uh, control here. So he or she is uh, you know, influenced by the X factor. Maybe I have to talk like X factor today. Uh, it's the anger. So X factor anger, I should get mad with it, not the person. And this is how our mind should be directed more to, f to deal with uh, anger, to fight with anger, not the, uh, not the person. Dilla, you bought the pimple, Nuzu, you make him a job, but not them, Roma, you may repeat your tissue or that, toast that the report down to the Tala. Did you want to you call try your mother? You bought Nuzu your mother. I'll talk to her, cock, 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 in the cold time, and what she said, talk with you, and the kids are best in Joshua Carsa. And the Kaza don't you know the beginning, and then Goloka says, and the court don't you know what is the car your machine, the call, yeah, see you know, Togo or Marwa, or Rahmes, I think, Murova. She said, Tata Kaza call and the Tori Mora, go, 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 uh, so basically what this means is, um, you know, um, we are, you know, uh, using this given situation or any similar one to this, uh, do this kind of analytical thinking and reasoning is the person really in charge? Like as if, right, the person has full authority, full control, right, and uh, is beating us up or doing whatever he or she is doing, or is the person really looks like is in charge but is really not in charge? person is also, you know, how should I say, helpless in some sense. It's under the influence of uh, a bigger factor, right, a stronger condition. So when we analyze that, we find that actually a person looks like strong, looks like in charge, looks like full control, but it isn't. That's the anger, right? Who is ruling the person's mind and, uh, you know, uh, doing all this uh, drama-rama. Well, he didn't say that, you know, I have to throw that. Um, and so if that is the case, then we really uh, can't uh, take the person to be responsible for everything because anger is responsible, you know, uh, uh, for whatever harm is caused uh, to us. Uh, and just as we talked about uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, when a crazy patient is going to fight with a doctor or the family members, whatever, right? The family understands that. <coughs> this person is not sane, is not in full control, is gone <coughs> crazy, so you are not going to fight the crazy <coughs> man, right? Because the doctor knows he's a crazy person, need your treatment help, is not to beat him up again, right? Because the crazy person beat you up, you're not going to beat the crazy person back, right? Uh, you're not crazy or whatever. So just like we cannot uh, take the crazy person <coughs> responsible because he is not in charge, right? He's not sane. In the same way, when somebody's angry, this person is not sane, has gone crazy, right? 
uh, with uh, the delusion, and so therefore uh, we cannot uh, uh, be mad with uh, with the person. Okay. ジュメバディミディビジュミジュジュデビアレオティンディシュゴンサレ。ディスワダカンジ。カルサ。ただニュモギピゲジュトゥネエネレガシアジュトゥアダ。ドンショネジュトゥアジ。シレタガガチガチ
जो लता पे मेरे पास मुझे जेब दूंगी नो जो मेरे पास बिल्कुल जेल में जो जो सच में जेल जो है तो यहाँ मुझे जो मेरे को ले 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 बेचे रंग ले के अब ने बस रंग में वो को यू नो ठीक से रंग ले तो लाश शेन लट्टा मेरे सो न्याम जो से रंग लट ले ले थे ने चौन नंग नंबर तब जो गांव पर चाहते से ताते से वाले तब को चिक तो मार ना जा शुरू ना जा कहाँ जी सब सब तब तब ने वाले शुरू हुआ अति ने वाले तो शुरू है अति गिगिन तब कहाँ जी ने शुरू है इन्हें कोई कहाँ सा पहले जी को शुरू ना जी मारे से सब सब ना मार इन्हें पे ना शुरू ना सब सब क्या ना मार मिशन डाल पे ये तारे बताती � को जुए हो जाए तो बस इन तो जुए हो जाए शायद तो मिक्सेड कॉल चौक गया है इसमें दूस तो जुड़े दिन बाद तो सोच तो तंग हो साथ साथ जाए शायद तो कॉल कहाँ यार मर्सी और तो जुए हो रहे हैं वे आर एट द बॉटम ऑफ पेज 163 ओवर टू पेज 164 नाउ अनदर रीजन वी यूज इज यू नो व्हेन समवन स्पीक्स वेरी has tons of things to say about us, you know. Not the good ones, the bad ones, you know. Uh, so, um, or somebody beats us up for that matter, doesn't matter. So we would say, you know, uh, whatever the person's anger, person's doing, is the person completely responsible for the action, or are there other causes and conditions, right? Am I in some way responsible for a person going crazy banana here, right? Do I have a role to play in this, or am I completely clean and I'm the blessed one? You know, he didn't say that, but you know, my footnote, right? I'm just pure and blessed one. Um, but when the thing over many lifetimes, the karmas we have created, we are really also responsible too. Okay, in many ways, from karmic perspective, these are the returns of what we have done to the other person. In my previous lifetimes. I have bad mouth about this person, right? I said, yagadi, yagadi, yagadi. Well, this life, all the yagadis are coming back. So it's a payback time. So if that's a payback time, I can't get mad. That's what I did to you. It's fair. I'm hearing the same thing back. I beat him up nicely, you know, previous lifetime. He beat me up nicely now. So it is like equal in some sense. So it's just like your karma is returning here. It's a payback time. If that's what's happening, so really, I'm the responsible, isn't it? If I had not beaten this person up, there's no reason why would I, why would I get beaten up right now. If I had not used my dirty mouth to run the whole thing, this person is not going to run the dirty mouth now. There's no reason why. So thinking this way, right, then we say, you know what? Yeah, I'm also a condition for the person going banana here, so I can't completely blame the other person, right? I have a role to play, it and I have to accept my karma and then cool down, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. तीन सौ सौ पीके ले रहे हैं मतलब जिन को रिदा ये भी मेस ही आ रहे थे जब थोड़ा आया हो मारवा और तेरे दिल चिप पड़े ऐसे कोटा। So the karmic, uh, you know, outcomes are here and now. We have to acknowledge and accept it, right? And uh, there's nothing we can get mad with other people. Like say, uh, in the Buddhist literatures where we talk about uh, when we create negative karmas, you know. We could be reborn in the bad migrations where we will be tortured like anything. If you are reborn in hell, well, you're in hell. You know, you're not party there. You're going to get crushed. You know, in between mountains, there are all these crazy monsters coming up. You will cut into pieces, all of those things. Looks like so much torture is going on. But it's all because of your karmic right, imprints and ripening, really. And so this is the result of our own karma. So we are not going to get mad with the hell guardians, you know, who look so scary dudes, you know, like, oh, why are you torturing me? Like, this is the reflection of your own karma. So just like we cannot get mad with the hell guardians, 
So we cannot get mad with the person who is angry with us because we might have done the same thing before and now we are getting paid back, you know? So receive your payment. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> ดูเงินมีด้วยจีนี่เล่นเชียงกันเกี่ยวกับเทปเสียเทปวะเนาะก็ที่ได้ทักกันใช่เนาะแต่ถ้าถ้าเกิดสิสิมจะซื้อดู
Does the retaliation reverses the pain already caused? It does not, isn't it? It's a rhetorical question. A person has already inflicted pain on you, retaliating against the person is not going to reverse the pain you already experienced. You already experienced it. Now the retaliation itself is another negativity that will lead to more negative outcomes which we don't want. So we have to you know, take all of those factors into account and uh, cultivate uh, uh, peace of mind and cultivate uh, uh, patience. Oh, this is the deep so we're in the middle of page 164 where there are stanzas uh, cited from Shanti Devas uh, engaging in the Bodhisattva deeds. And where there is the mention of where, uh, you know, hellish experiences, descriptions of the hells and hell beings experiences where we talk about, say, you know, there's the burning iron surface, you know, where uh, you are tortured. Or maybe there are the, you know, razor sharp, uh, you know, trees that you are going to climb up and they're going to all poke and cut your bodies into pieces. The question we ask is, who has created them? Nobody. It's your own karma. You means our own karma. So when our negative karmas ripen, they manifest in the form of all this, uh, you know, very uh, scary environment and all these tortures, but nobody's responsible for that except our own, uh, you know, uh, uh, karmic actions. So understanding that, you know, if we don't want uh, to, um, if we don't create uh, negative karmas, you know, we will never experience uh, uh, negative outcomes. You know, people cannot make us suffer. We can only make us suffer through our own uh, negative uh, uh, karmic actions. Dalmidit, <laughs> I So referring back to that citation, um, uh, Bodhisattva Shantideva uh, tells us that uh, when we get mad with someone who is mad with us, and then uh, retaliate against the person, that will make the person more angry, right? And do the more negativities. And these negativities will uh, cause person to be reborn in bad migrations and suffer more. So in that case, looks like I'm responsible for that person's creating more negativities and going to the hell again, isn't it? So, um, uh, and uh, so, but doing, but retaining against the person, it's just like a mutual destruction we have created, right? It's a lose lose situation, you know? I retaliate against the person, I create more negativity. That I have to experience a negative result. Now I retaliate, person becomes more angry, doing the more crazy things. Well, person is going to pay more, right? So it's just like a lose lose situation, you know? And uh, looks like I'm responsible for making the person do more crazy things. Crazy means negative things, you know? According to Kishikaragan, uh, Kadamba Kishikaragan, he says that um, 
if someone retaliates against uh, somebody else, that shows this person not even has a scent of a dharma taste, right? Because as a dharma person, practitioner, you know, you, you don't cause harm to others, right? And if you can do more, right, help others, benefit others. That's what the dharma teaches us, you know? But even if we can't benefit others, at least don't harm others. So that is the basic outline. And if you retaliate against someone, well, we are violating our basic uh, rules here. We are, uh, you know, harming someone else, you know. So that's why Geshe Shabubha says, uh, if somebody behaves that way, retaliate against someone, then that means that person, you know, has not even developed the scent of a dharma, you know. Oh, dear, that's in a usual Tadidungitamuchi, Jawadis. <laughs> 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 So we are towards the bottom of page 164. Uh, the sub point two reads On analysis of the subject, anger is unjustified. So, explanation Kishala given is um, you know, when someone, uh, you know, if we ask, you know, why you are angry with the person, you know what, because he beat me, so that brought me pain, okay? So, nobody likes pain, so I have every reason to be <laughs> retaliating against this person. Or somebody, you know, said something bad. You know, it, it hurt my feelings, you know, not my body, feeling. I am a feeling person, you know, so I can't take it anymore. That's why I'm retaining this person. Uh, then again, as a practitioner, we're looking, you know what, if you can't tolerate this much pain now, right, relatively speaking, it's nothing compared to the kind of pain and suffering in the hell and the hungry ghost world, then how are you going to deal with much greater suffering that can come out of your violence and retaliation, right? You cannot do that. So this is how we have to tell ourselves. It's not so much uh, telling someone, like, you know, I have to tell myself, you know, if I can't be tolerant of this much pain, somebody said something bad to me, and I'm, you know, then if I retaliate against the person, this will bring greater suffering in, in my future life. How can I tolerate that suffering? So for the sake of preventing uh, the greater suffering, I should just deal with this pain and tolerate it. You know, this is how uh, we approach uh, the situation. Tenor <laughs> So basically, in that kind of uh, difficult situation, we have to remind ourselves, let's say, before we get mad and we're going to retaliate, you know, I have to tell myself, you know what? You know, if I'm really going to get angry back and retaliate against a person, this will bring much greater suffering in the future. So I can't be that stupid, you know? You know, who wants a greater suffering later on? You know, if I can't tolerate this much, so I better not act stupid here and, uh, you know, just control my own anger, control, prevent myself from retaliating against the person. And this is how, uh, you know, we do um, our mind training or the practice. 
So we're at the bottom of page uh, 164, of, uh, top of page 165. Um, so we are just kind of continuing with our critical thinking and analysis here. And when someone beat me up or says something unkind to me, uh, says I have to uh, just tell myself, right, how I can calm down and stay cool. He says, you know what, whatever suffering the person has brought, this could be the ripening result of my own karma. You know, I must have done something back in the past. You know, I might have said something back. So this is the result of my own karma, and by tolerating it, that karma is exhausted and purified. So I don't have to suffer anymore, the result of that karma, right, in the future. By not retaliating against the person, you know, I'm creating new positive energy or merit. Right? So my positive energy of the merit will in increase. You know? So as a matter of fact, from Dharma point of view, which is really hard for us to think this way, right? because we will justify it in some other ways, I can see this person is very kind to me. He's providing me this tremendous opportunity. You know? Maybe the person knows what he is doing is not right. You know? And maybe he knows by doing all these things he will go into hell. But he's willing to go to hell by providing me this opportunity to practice tolerance, isn't it? So he's truly kind. He's just sacrificing himself, yelling at me, screaming at me, beating me up, whatever, you know. And, but, you know, providing me this whole opportunity to exhaust my negative karma and just, you know, cultivate the positive action. And really, he is kind. So I, that's something to be appreciated here, you know. So this is how uh, we can also take the person, not as an enemy, but as a friend who is providing you the real opportunity to practice. If you want to practice, here I am, you know. Do it now, yeah. Honestly, if you really think very carefully and deeply, this is true. The person is providing us an opportunity, you know. Think about this. You know, you just have a nice time in your room, you are doing yoga or meditation, whatever, like you're talking to patients, whatever. Nobody is making you mad. So, I mean, you're kind of practicing, you're practicing as yeah, abstract that, right? But here's a real person giving you the chance. Now, if you can deal with this person's situation, you know, the growth that you can have is going to be 100 times more, right? Because you really don't have to imagine anything like, if should someone say something bad to me or beat me up, what would it be like? Am I going to get mad? Well, this is like all thinking, like imagination stuff, right? 
I mean, you're just still nice in your room, you know, whatever. You're on your nice cushion or something. But here's a real situation, right, which provides you, if you can really deal with it, your patients can grow tremendously, and this will be 100 times you know, more beneficial, right? This is true if we really seriously think about this matter. It's an opportunity uh, to practice, right? Uh, litmus test here. I'm just kidding, yeah. Now, whether the person is really kindly thinking of, like, you know, I want to give you the real opportunity to practice, it doesn't matter. But the fact of the matter is, he has provided us the opportunity, isn't it? You know? How do we know whether we are going to get mad or not when somebody makes us mad, right? Then we know, are we really, can we put up with that or we are like, ha ha, you know, other times, right? So the, real, the fact of the matter is, the opportunity is here, whether the person really wants to give it with the kindness or not, doesn't matter, you know? Uh, but acknowledge it, you know, recognize that, appreciate it, and uh, then, you know, uh, cultivate patience. What is it? Jupalungoje <laughs> So the being is all triag, someone is in the tea door, what did you have a son and it's so hard to say as such as well? No. So we have already talked about these things, and now if you want to, you know, where are all this uh, scriptural authority to substantiate the point? So on top of page 165, <coughs> we have a stanza quoted from Garland of Birth Stories, Buddha's Life Stories of Jataka Mala, and we have a stanza quoted from great Indian master Chandakiti's uh, commentary on the Middle Way which basically really tells us that uh, <clears throat> if we can <clears throat> tolerate the pain caused by someone, uh, that can really help us to purify our previous negative karma. And by remaining cool and kind, if you could, if not kind, at least cool, <laughs> we are creating a new positive karma and we are not creating any new seed to uh, perpetuate more suffering in the future. <clears throat> No. <laughs> <coughs> so thinking about the benefits of patience, right, uh, the disadvantages of going crazy or mad, uh, then we should cultivate patience and remain c calm and cool in that kind of a difficult uh, situation. Just like, you know, when we have uh, health needs, right, you have to go through this tremendous, uh, I don't know, uh, like uh, surgical treatments, right? Your body will be cut and, you know, organs will be cut here and cut there and plastered here, whatever. That's not a pleasant thing, but we know we will do that because we know it will give us a good health, right? So we tolerated all that, you know, injections and chemotherapy. Well, that's not mentioned here. I'm just throwing some specific things, right? Uh, all kinds of, you know, cutting you into this and that and stitching you up a thousand times. But we tolerate it because we think, okay, out of that comes something good. So in the same way, you know, by being patient and not getting angry, a lot of good things come up. So we should tolerate the small pain and difficulty to prevent uh, greater pain and uh, difficulty. So we will stop there today on uh, top of page 165, and we welcome your questions and observations. And <coughs> Thank you, Kesha. Um My question is, 
based on what His Holiness has mentioned on many occasions about like bodhisattva deeds, something like this, mm -hmm. of if you witness or observe someone harming someone else, mm -hmm. that, and you think that they're going to continue mm -hmm. to harm other people, then mm -hmm. it's good to actually take strong countermeasure to stop that mm -hmm. aggressor. Yes. Uh, so my question is, let's say you don't have the ability to do that. Okay. Maybe thinking, I won't be able to control myself, it could get even worse, etc. Is it bad to not do something? Okay, sure. Quanakanishi <laughs> That chakos and name into Rogan, Super Chevro than the Chesa media, the well led Chemojo in the Chigo or Wagan. Ah, didn't you go or was a man? Tapena social didn't take in Nedan to Tom in a socially are the Carsore, the well led the Goyak and Nuba Mabas at Wagan. And kissing each guy seven that under young or the Tower changes about two tangles sometimes to your Wagan. Jenna and in the Kemajene quality and never your marvels, that became Miss Ambassy, the Batigu Church at Wagan. That the Yabon Marwagan, the Bush of Sagorwa. In a social and midi, the good kayak in Nuba Yomarwagan. They took a carriage of rest, what I did. I did that. So gave a good mantras at the Sigurata. No. Did the tap is a dig of Yomar? Because I got a Miss Sabbath to my son, she got a suit of the says that in Buddhism, uh, you know, we uh, take into account, or we uh, uh, we are taught to take into account many factors, right, before we say or do something. Uh, going back to the situation you know you have mentioned, where we know this person is doing something right that's not good, negative, right? But at the same time, you or I have no ability to stop the person from doing something. Okay? In which case, you know, uh, especially if you think that by kind of uh, getting involved, we're going to get it worse, right? I think it's better to not get involved, and it's not going to be your fault, right? Because if we don't have the ability to Prevent or uh, what you know, person from doing uh, worse, uh, or they we think that at this moment the person is not going to listen to you, it's not going to be receptive at all, you cannot affect any changes, then it's okay not to get involved. That's not going to be a problem for you as a practitioner or right for it. That's that, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, Buddha always uh, take into account our different abilities, right? We individuals different abilities. You know, if we know for sure that we don't have the ability to help something, to prevent something, then it's not going to be our fault at all. But if we do have the ability to prevent something and make a change, if we don't do that, then it's going to be our uh, fault. You know? yeah. Any other thoughts? So uh, the object of negation of all these contemplations mm -hmm. uh, is that uh, our anger is justified, mm -hmm. you know, as we right, see yeah. in the headings. Now, but but it's, it seems to me that it's uh, so. If if this is really uh, if this thought that our anger is justified uh, mm -hmm. is the cause of our anger, of course it makes sense to, to go through the contemplations. But mm -hmm. it doesn't seem so obvious to me that this particular thought mm -hmm. that our anger is justified has anything to do with the arising of anger. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, I missed something. Okay. There. Do it well, one more time. Well, yeah. the, the purpose of these contemplations is yeah. to, to make sure to prevent the arising of anger. Right. Okay. That, that the assumption is that, this, the, that the anger, anger is justified mm -hmm. is the cause of anger. Oh. So if, if we need negate that, mm -hmm. the, if, if we negate the assumption that the cause of the, the anger is justified, then the anger will not, will not arise. Right. But uh, in my experience and everybody's experience, I assume, that's 
Th this is not the cause of anger. This thought, you know, when you get angry, it's not because you think that your anger is justified. Mm -hmm. It just uh, anger just arises. It has nothing to do with this thought. Okay. So it, uh, you know, by by refuting this, mm -hmm. it's like uh, somebody is afraid of a tiger in the east, and you're saying there is no. Snake in the, the, the West. Ah, well, I guess I'm chuckling over you. So I used the example, you know, if somebody's scared of the tiger in the East, we said there's no elephant there. So, you know, said, oh, it's not exactly the same, you know. <laughs> so, um, but, uh, you know, um, the, the number of the analysis we have done, you know, that included both looking at, uh, you know, what gives rise to the anger, the object, as well as the anger as a subject of experience, right? And one of the things we talked about is, uh, you know, when someone is angry uh, and uh, they say something bad to us and beat us up, right? So we get uh, the, our feelings are hurt, right? So we said, you know what, the reason why I'm getting angry is because my feelings are hurt, isn't it? So our feelings are hurt is a cause, right? We don't want to experience. That's why we think, because my feelings are hurt, so therefore I'm getting angry. Uh, so the one reason we say, you know, your hurt feeling is really could be related to your own previous karma, you know? And so it's not so much what the person has said, it's because you hurt somebody's feeling before, it is that coming back. So thinking that way, we can control uh, the hurt feeling, so that will prevent anger from arising, you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, Aside the, the, this, uh, the, the, the religious point of view, uh, right, right. Uh, just going back to the f further, where we, ana uh, earlier when we analyzed the, the fact that anger is not justified. Right. So let's, let's, let's assume, according to Geshe-la, mm -hmm. uh, the previous uh, contemplations would work for anybody. Mm -hmm. you, don't have to be, you don't have to believe in karma. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, so that's yes, what I was talking right. about. Okay. We, we're talking about uh, that the anger is not justified. Mm -hmm. My point is that according to these uh, contemplations, mm -hmm. the assumption of these contemplations is that this is what causes me to be anger. I see the person mm -hmm. doing harm, yes. and I assume my anger will be justified, and this will cause the arising of anger, but it doesn't feel like that at all subjectively. Oh, the anger just arises. Whether I, I consider the anger justified or not is after the fact. Mm -hmm. I get angry and only afterwards I may say, well, you know, it's, mm. it's not justified or is it, it okay. is justified. So it's not the cause. The, 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 the thought that the anger is justified or not is not the cause for the arising of the anger. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll this word. I'll call this word. I'll call this uh Quando 
what Gisela said, I'll translate that. I think probably um, uh, maybe next Sunday, I want to check the Tibetan word, whether that's translated as a justified or not. And I have some hunts, right? Something, because that's in English we have it, and I use it right in a sense. Uh, Kishore says, yes, that's right. I mean, when somebody makes angry, not necessarily we think, well, I have a justifiable anger, I'm going to be mad, right? You just become angry, you know? Uh, but uh, some of the reasons we looked at it, uh, where that kind of anger is not justifiable, as according to the translation here, is uh, that, um, uh, what do we say? Um, uh, because it's advantageous, it's not in your nature, things like that. So I think we will check back with the words, okay? So maybe that might clear up your question. Yeah. Yes. Play devil's advocate for yeah, a little yes. bit. Sure, sure. So uh, the issue with the word responsible, that mm -hmm. that person's under the influence of anger, therefore they are not responsible. So yes. I, ha I have beef with that statement. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, the issue is if we hold ourselves responsible, we could also hold the other person responsible. Maybe uh -huh. they're under the influence, but I don't think that makes them not responsible. Okay. Given, karma's not going to say, hey, you know what? This kiddo was under all the influence, mm -hmm. therefore I'm not going to come back and slap him in the face because well, he's not responsible. I don't think it works like that. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I heard you. Marangi, the condition of the thing is working. The castle, 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 Kora a mother chicky, uh, just a quality game, never did us under them in this robot. Cobe round game, you made a German again. Cobe contra sour game into set contained this organ. Did it be the disorder? Contra the Korang Tamako Chai to things you wish our mother's you were about. No, so. Coca to Kurkoya Kuja, anything she had the shower with you. No, so. What is it? No, so. Uh, of course, it's more for, I said, for my mind training. But at the same time, when we say the person is not responsible, usually people don't come with, uh, with a blueprint to get angry. You know, they just get angry. It's not like people say, you know what, okay, I'm going to really get angry with this person, right? Then you have all plan B and A and everything and come back, right? Then we say, yeah, you're responsible. You planned it all out, skimmed it out, right? No, they just get mad. So therefore, in that sense, they are not responsible, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the devil's advocate a little further. Yeah. Let's have a little fun. Um, at the same time, if we say he's not responsible, aren't mm -hmm. we in a way disempowering that person in a sense where we think that they have no power to control themselves? Like, okay. hey, oh, you have sure. you have nothing, and we're kind of um, sure. undermining their ability to sure. rise above and, That's good. and control yeah. it. Okay, then since that manjo kanda kansa di ane ko karso ora kyu yana ten cho ora madu ko chesi din neke kono sagyo marasla ora wagya kolchu jmistidu ka. Kissed <laughs> Right. Right. Yeah, says, you know, we are really not uh, making any, st by, how should I say, when we say the person is not responsible for his or her actions in the given situation because he or she is influenced by anger or some other things, uh, by stating that we are not making any statement whether the person has the ability to 
uh, control, right? Uh, the anger or prevent the anger. But anyway, at the moment, regardless of the anger, the person is mad. So that shows at the moment, person has no control, right? Ability. Otherwise, he wouldn't have got mad, angry, right, in the first place. Maybe he doesn't want to get angry. But there are people who say, you know what, I don't want to be angry with you, but I'm angry, you know. So there's some sense of that, you know, inability to control, you know. Yeah. And yes, please. Uh, could you send, uh, sorry, we have uh, people, <laughs> invisible people around and people behind the glass wall, so we have to use the mic. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's on, I think, yeah. Testing? Oh. Yes, yes. Thank you, Geshla. Thank uh. you. Um, from my personal experience, um, I'm a very passive person. Mm -hmm. So I find that I'm uh, almost always able to tolerate mm -hmm. other people's mm -hmm. anger. Mm -hmm. um, and then I fully absorb it. And then mm -hmm. I'm not always able to correctly process mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And then I feel it like spilling out of my pores, mm -hmm. like in small uh, mm -hmm. expressions of anger, whether mm -hmm. it be mm -hmm. nagging or mm -hmm. small uh, sure. comments, mm -hmm. criticisms. Mm -hmm. um, so my question is, how, how can we deal with that? And mm -hmm. um, also, is it not the more compassionate thing to do to prevent this angry person from creating negative karma for themselves. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Oh, you mean just be a little more assertive rather than passive, is that what you mean? I'm sorry? When you said, uh, you know, would it be more compassionate to be more assertive to prevent the person from anger rather than being uh, passive, right? Is that what you mean? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, kind sure. of. ケカンエセネメントタディングドスモラシガラウデシガジャンボインサラワゲ。ジザミギチグラベネアレベテカドドルソバコンバルシジェラワゲ。レンロゴメサ。タイネミマンゴデンデタグドザマンゴラウデデ
se ve çoğalı ya iyi tanrı sevgi doğan. Dedi gidiyor ya böyle bir ya. Bir teva sevgi sevgi gece maraş. Hadi şimdi. Hadi de iyi tanrı çıkınla. Şimdi kale kale de bize ya. Lakle de 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 aşağı kalmayın. Lafzak mıydı çanlısı bana gitti çabuklar. Kisela wants to underline that of course we deal with uh, the perfection of patience according to Bodhisattva's practice. Very really high level, isn't it? So, I mean, we cannot... Uh, uh, how should I say, pretend that we have the same kind of patience or very close to that, you know. Uh, but, but thinking about this and studying and at least uh, contemplating these things, so we are kind of directing our mind in that direction of the Bodhisattva we practice. Well, we acknowledge that, you know, we fail many times, you know. Or maybe, you know, some of us will burst out or some of us are more passive outside, but inside we are still disturbed, you know. So that's where we are. So we need to work slowly. But at least when we think about the benefits of patience and uh, uh, the, uh, the negative outcomes of the anger, we are able to direct our mind in the right direction, right, towards the patience. So that's how slowly progress, you know, incremental changes will happen. So it's a process. So there is no short circuit we can do with that, you know. Yeah. Thank you very much. Have an announcement somewhere here before. His Holiness, the Dalai Lama's birthday is on July 6th, actually. Uh, but then obviously we wait for the weekend. So July 9th, Sunday, uh, there will be no teaching here. Uh, but uh, uh, together with the Tibetan Association of Southern California, uh, GSTDL, uh, will uh, celebrate His Holiness, the Dalai Lama's 82nd birthday at the El Dorado Park, Long Beach. Okay, so it's from 11 to 4, and uh, everybody's welcome. Um, it's a potluck, so bring, if you are a really good cook, then your skills can be shown. If not, we have to go and buy something from Costco, I guess. <laughs> I usually do that. I'm not a cook, so. Uh, so anyways, so everybody's welcome. July 9th, Sunday, no teaching here, El Dorado Park, 11 to 4. So we'll do Manjushri prayer in Tibetan and dedication and then in English and Vietnamese. Kangi Lodu Timye Tindu Nyinda Namda Rapsave Chinye Dungu Chishi Sishi Nyiji Tukar Lekbamzi Kanda Sibi Tsunram Mindong Dungi Chisibi Rozo Kunla Puji Yenla Juju Yangdeng Sun Juda Chitro Nyimu Nyilo Deji Chatro Jun Maria Munze, Dungi, Nyugo, Chinye, Chenze, Radina, Dune, Dati, Sajuta, Yende, Lunzo, Jese, Tuyu, Chuda, Chuda, Chuni, Yende, Dalu, Yangla, Dio Marabadana, Obeisance to my guru and protector Manjushri who holds at his heart a scriptural text, symbolic of a seeing all things as they are, whose intelligence shines forth as the sun, unclouded by delusions or traces of ignorance, who teaches in 60 ways with the loving compassion of Father for his only Son, all creatures caught in the prison of samsara, confused in the darkness of their ignorance, overwhelmed by their suffering, proclamation of dharma, arouse us from stupor of our delusions, and free us from the iron chains of our karma, who wields this sword of wisdom, hewing down suffering wherever sprouts appear, clearing away the darkness of ignorance. You who have been pure from the beginning, who have completed the stages of achieving the highest perfection of a bodhisattva, whose princely body is adorned with 112 marks of a Buddha, I bow down to you, Manjushri, 
Omara Baza Nadi, O compassionate one, with the brilliance of your wisdom, illuminate the darkness enclosing my mind, enlighten my intelligence and wisdom, so that I may gain insight into Buddha's word and the texts that explain them. 31. Like the sweet perfume of white lotus, born in the ocean of knowledge, nourishing honeybees, the fortunate being, your fame pervades all directions. You are proficient and powerful in upholding the precious doctrine. To you, O Lord Sang Tenzing Wanta, respectfully I pray. Ủ sư lợi, điều phục hai chướng ngại, tự nhật quan lan tỏa khắp mười phương, bậc thực chứng chân nghĩa màu rốt giáo, từ tim ngài bát nhã kinh thủ hộ nhiệm màu, cõi luân hồi bị ngăn che bởi phiền não vô mình, sở hữu sáu mươi pháp âm thù thắng, cùng đại bi ngài hóa độ chúng sanh, tự từ mẫu chăm lo cho quý tử, tiếng rồng vang ngài thức tỉnh hữu tình, thoát khỏi vòng luân hồi nghiệp báu. Tận diệt muôn vàn khổ đau cùng ách nạn, trường tử như lai tối thắng toàn giác, ngài an trụ nơi thập địa pháp vân, báu thân ngài trang nghiêm thanh tịnh, <cười> 112 tướng hảo như lai đây đầu đảnh lễ đức văn thù sư lợi cuối xin ngài tận diệt ám chướng vô minh om arapasanati con khẩn cầu dưới gót sen bậc đại trí ban phước lực diệt phiền não vô minh được khí sáng có thâm nhập nghĩa màu pháp vi diệu cùng muôn vàn luận giải như diệu hương ngọt ngào từ sen trắng đảng xanh nơi trí thủ thắng đại dương hàng thiện căn như ong mật thọ lương Hồng danh Ngài khắp mười phương quảng bá, đấng thiện xảo uy dũng bảo tồn pháp bảo vô giá. Nam mô lốp sang tên dinh quang đắc, xin cung kính trì niệm. Nghe vô So I just want to wish safe travel for our students going soon to Mongod for Gishala's enthronement. And those of us who couldn't go because we are in samsara, so please give our <laughs> highest respect regard to Rinpoche. Thank you very much, and see you back safely then. Yeah.